Uh, shalom, shalom. We're the real Hebrews lights coming day in and day out to prophesy down for all the Babylon the Great. It's like it. Which is America. First off and foremost, our praise is honor and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of Abraham. Let's and salutations to the elect, wherever he may be. It's the Brother Shapaya coming at you again with a quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. In today's lesson of Psalms 19, I'm going to hop straight into it. Verse 1. The heavens declare the, the glory of Yahweh, and the firmament show of his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language uh, that their voice is not heard. All right? Now, guess what? You could, man, when you look at the world, you look at, you know, the heavens, you know there's a most high. Simply put, your your average everyday person knows that. When you go into the what was it what was he known for? The science of revelatility. Who was it? Was it Isaac Newton or I think it was Einstein. All right, because like, on, on his deathbed, he knew that was the most high, you know. But back into this, there is no speech or no language that their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out to the uh, through all all the earth and the words unto the end of the world. And them that have <clears throat> their tabernacle under the sun, and guess what? This truth has gone out. You can hear this truth in different languages. Hey, just like Acts what was that Acts the second chapter. All right. In that line, all right, we, we have this web, all right? We have, hey, what you hear my voice on right now, this YouTube, guess what? That's a part of the scripture, man. The internet, okay? It says under the, uh, his set, he said, tabernacle for the sun, all right? It says, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his cha chamber and, re and, re and rejoices of a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of heaven, and his circuits unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. <laughs> and the Lord raw. Verse 7. The law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahweh, of Yahweh is sure, making the wise, uh, making wise the simple. Okay. The statutes of Yahweh are, are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of Yahweh is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahweh is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether, more to be desired than any gold. So that's, that's what you, hey, it says above uh, rubies and things of that nature, choose wisdom. That's what, it's, that's what this is going into, man. All right? And it says if you desire thrones, scepters, Things like that desire wisdom first. All right, so that's why I say it's more to be de uh, more to be desired are they than gold. All right, and the beginning of uh, 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 wisdom is the fear of the Lord. All right, and how do you know the fear of the Lord through His judgments? All right. Um. Uh. Yay. Than much fine gold, sweeter than honey in the honey honeycomb. Moreover, by them is the servant warned, and the keeping of them there is great reward. And us keeping this, hey, what he says, because thou hast kept my word of patience. All right, Revelations two, I should give uh, give the scepter of iron to rule over all the nations. He that endure to the end, the same should be saved. All right, so in keeping this is what is a great reward. Verse twelve. Who can understand his errors? Er errors cleans down me from secret faults, and we all have our secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from, from uh, presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, my strength and my redeemer. All right? So once again, that's another good chapter to deal in. And you know it, and it should comfort you, man. 
That's what, hey, a lot of these psalms are very comforting, all right? And guess what? You're supposed to sing them. So, you know, good music is very comforting to the spirit, man. So with that, hey, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Karkadash. Double honors to the other apostles, a great marriage, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abba, Baba.